Hi, I'm Captain Bill LaPree with South Florida Bass Charters. Today we're chasing exotic species here in the Lake Ida Osborne chain in Delray and Boynton Beach, Florida. Today we were fishing on a 2014 24 foot Carolina skiff with a 115 Honda. Lots of fishing room. We got away from the dock this morning nice and early trying to beat the rain up here to Lake Osborne. We got up into some of the canals behind Lake Osborne. We were fighting some less than perfect conditions today, but we made it happen. On our way up here to Lake Osborne this morning, we had to pass underneath some really low bridges to get back into some of my secret honey holes. Once we got to my spots, we dropped the anchor and started live baiting. Our first stop was in a narrow canal, and we ended up catching a couple of nice clown knife fish and some really big bass. So when you catch them this time of year in the spring, you see the bite marks in them. They're all scratched up. Look at the bite marks in the back. Fresh bite mark in his head. That's nuts. It's like a chunk taken out of him. That's blood. <laughs> that fish just got bitten on the way in. There's another one on over here. Got here is a Florida gar. Um, they're like a really ancient. Oh, God. <laughs> and you're back on. <laughs> and, uh, and he's uh, he's not real happy with me like messing with them. But we'll try to get him to cool off for a minute. So he can oh my God. They're really strong. They get big too. Yeah, this species, the Florida gar, doesn't get huge like an alligator gar does. But they're still pretty impressive. They got a mouthful of teeth. Let's see if we can, we can get some of that. He's kind of like lassoed around his head here. Look at those choppers. You don't want to get your finger caught in there. Jeez. Yeah, these are like a really prehistoric ancient fish. They're very common in South Florida. Um, any canal, lake, anywhere you go, you're gonna find these, these Florida gar. They're fun, fun little fish to catch. Something different, really hard to hold. So we got out here, we're live bait fishing. We're recasting the baits over and over again, keeping fresh baits out. We found a little spot back here where there's not a lot of current. Right now we've got an unusual condition where it's been raining for days. All the spillways are wide open. So all the main east-west canals that we typically fish are blown out. The current's ripping through there at about 10 miles an hour. So we found a nice little kind of calm area back here um, in the back of Lake Osborne and we're gonna fish here and try to catch some clowns. Um, and like I said, we're fishing with live shad, which uh, it's important to keep those baits fresh all the time. So we're just casting them over and over again because a lot of times you get a reactionary strike. When the bait hits the water, the fish will just react to it because it's nice and fresh, it shoots down and bam, you get hit right away. So that's why we're gonna, gonna see us casting over and over a lot, keeping fresh baits in the water. Really nice Florida largemouth. Nice and fat, looks like he's healthy. He's been eating pretty well. He's got a nice tummy on him. Look at that. Mm. He's been eating a few of our shad, I think. Good looking bass. Clean. Not a lot of mites or anything on him. No leeches. Nice clean fish.
just caught this bass, a really nice largemouth, probably about five and a half, close to six pounds, maybe 22, 22 and a half inches long. Really nice looking fish, really healthy, good shape, great looking bass. I have a lot of people asking about like, you know, what are your secrets for catching, you know, all these big bass, peacock bass, clown knife fish. One of my secrets is the banana. Um, it's just a, it's a good, nutritious, healthy fruit, and they're great. They're good luck on my boat. Um, see, as soon as I even started talking about it, I'm bit immediately. No, you don't touch. The, you can't touch the banana. So here we go. Just to just to dispel any of those. Okay, there's your banana. All I had to do is touch it. And what what just happened? What is it? It's like something hooked into bass. Oh, it's foul hooked oh, bass. Yeah. Still. Still. See what I mean though? It just doesn't. There's, there's no, there's, there's, there's just no, no truth to the banana, the banana super Totally fishing. lassoed. Look at, I lassoed him. I didn't even hook him. He just got tangled in the line. Look at that. Our first couple clam knife fish were in the six pound class and our bass was probably really close to seven. Once the fishing had slowed down in our first spot, I picked up the anchor and we ran a couple miles back down south to fish the main lake. Our last or second and final stop for the day we got into a really ferocious clown knife fish bite we probably had six eight bites in about a half an hour and caught two or three more We also encountered a peacock bass, a sunshine bass, and a crappie together, which is really unique. Not a bad bee either. Not bad at all. <laughs> Pretty one. A lot of these fish that we were catching today are the product of people just dumping their aquariums into these lakes and canal systems up here in Palm Beach County. Fortunately for us, it gives us more fish to target and we really enjoy chasing these exotic species. Sunshine bass, stocked by the state of Florida. They're a hybrid striped bass and white bass mix. Really nice, good fighting fish, good eating. Beautiful. Definitely, definitely a fun little game fish. Really nice little black crappie. Those are a really delicious, popular pan fish. People love eating these guys. They are tasty in the frying pan. I don't eat them though. Beautiful colors. Big mouth for a little fish. It's like all mouth. Hey guys, we're about to release a couple of the clown knife fish we caught today. These are native to Southeast Asia. Really interesting fish. They swim backwards, forwards, they jump. Really fun freshwater game fish. I mean, kind of like unique to 
the Lake Ida Osborne chain. Um, really, really cool fish, very unique. Air breathers, they roll like tarpon, really awesome. And there's a nice pair, beautiful. I'd like to thank SA Company for keeping us dry and keeping the sun off of us. Their gear was perfect for today's conditions. Their hats and face shields keep the sun off my head and my neck and protect me and keep me from seeing the dermatologist too often. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed fishing with us. You can follow me on Instagram at South Florida Bass Charters or SouthFloridaBassCharters.com. Send me an email to book a trip.